What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Modern Schmunday here on uh, Twitch TV or YouTube, depending on where you're viewing this. Um, so we're, the deck we're playing today was commissioned by a, uh, a cool a cool dude named Nathan, and this deck looks super sweet, so I'm actually really excited about it. It is a taking turns list with Temporal Mastery, Time Warp, uh, but we also have As Foretold, so we get to Time Warp for free at certain points. And we also have the Eternal Witness Cryptic Command package, which lets us play Eternal Witness, get back Cryptic Command, then play Cryptic Command, counter their spell, and return Eternal Witness. And then we can play Eternal Witness and get back Cryptic Command, etc. Uh, usually you use this with Aether Vial on three, so that it's free, so you can Aether Vial in a, an Eternal Witness without it being countered, uh, get back your Cryptic Command and counter something. But uh, it's also pretty sweet here because it lets you get back Living Ends. So you can kind of chain living ends right like you can go eternal witness get back living end cast living end for free off of as foretold along with ancestral vision which is really sweet and um when you do that your eternal witnesses that have died also come back to allow you to get back the living end so it's kind of like a way to keep getting rid of creatures i guess which is pretty sweet um but you know cryptic command is also kind of like a turn because when you counter their spell and tap all their dudes it's basically like taking a free turn um and then we have jace as like a win condition and th that's pretty much it, actually. Jace and Eternal Witness are kind of our only win conditions here. So, uh, but I mean, you know, it's a good win condition. Jace is not a not a, a bad win condition by any means. And the sideboard, we actually have a bunch of white stuff because we have Hollowed Fountain, Flooded Strands, and uh, you know, one Plains. So we can play Kami of uh, False Hope, which is also a combo with uh, you know Eternal Witness and things like. Living in, you can just keep chaining commies back, I guess. Uh, Stony Silence with two Stony Silences. Uh, Leyline with three for, you know, these are obvious cards. Everybody knows what these these modern sideboard cards are for at this point. Spell Pierce. Another Search for Ascanto, which is pretty nice. We also have two Tireless Trackers and one Chalice of the Void, which we can search out with the Teleria, Rest, Teleria West. Uh, so it's kind of like a silver, silver Bullet there, which is pretty sweet because there's, there's definitely certain decks where Chalice just shuts them down, so... <sighs> why would you want to chain commies back it was not a very good economic that's fair that's a good point uh we have seen the results of such things so uh um yeah all right so yeah this deck looks sweet looking forward to playing it giving some feedback and uh talking about it when we're done so let's do that uh i'm not gonna do i avoid competitive just because the prize payout in friendly is a little more it's a little more level and uh when we're playing a deck we're not familiar with and we've never played before it's uh a little easier to get a feel for the deck and i explain this regularly i don't even have 80 play points i am play point broke ladies and gentlemen but that's what can you do this is exciting i'm looking forward to it we do not have the uh the usual suspects in the deck like uh part the water veil which is a nice also win condition walk the aeons which is a nice way to chain multiple uh, turns, or ooh, that is loud, or um, Giga Drouse, which also works as a way to like tap them out so you can be sure to go off. Um, another thing we don't have is kind of like an engine, which is um, the the dictative dictative crew fix slash howling mine engine, which lets you keep uh, drawing time warp effects. Uh, this hand actually seems fine because it can lead to a turn three Jace, or just a turn two or three search for Ascanto. So, I mean, we're likely since we have a planes here, we're likely just getting uh, double breeding pools here, and we have the planes in hand, so we don't actually have to get a planes with flooded strand at any point. Uh, Terminal Blood Moon. I saw an article by LSV saying that Leyline of, of Sanctity is a trap in most siders because it's boarded in way too much and too poorly. Um, I think it's boarded in a ton, but I think there's certain matchups where it's just amazing. Like, like the burn matchup, it's just fantastic against. I mean, I think it's if it's boarded in correctly, it's definitely a trap. But I think when you're using it effectively, like the card itself is great. I mean, I don't think there's, I don't think we're saying it's not a great card, but just use it, use it correctly is all we're saying. I think. This is a turn. Remember that time we were like, ooh, turn turn three Jace. Sweet. Yeah, I was thinking that when I said it. Because <coughs> I'm like, hey, you too. I love your content too. But uh, that's, you know, that's not what I meant. But that's what it sounds like. And uh, I thought the same thing. 
Faithless looting. How many... Let's see how many hollow ones we can get in the graveyard. Hopefully none. Oh, Venge Vines. Oh, God. Oh, vomit. I don't even want to bounce this guy because they just play this one drop along with any other one drop. And, uh... They get to, uh... Kill Jace pretty easily with infinite Venge Vines. So, bouncing this guy is not ideal. I guess maybe we... Plus Jace? I don't think we live in a world where we can't, where we don't plus Jace. This is a lot of lands here. Definitely don't want to bounce you. They didn't have one creature last turn, but they could just be saving it for... For two creatures. If you know what I mean. I bet you do. Do we just expose Jace? Do we expose Jace for the fraud he is? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so he goes to five, right? What do they... Like, if they have two dudes, they just go double Venge Vine, kill Jace with Flame Blade Adept and Venge Vine, and we take four? Like, we're just, we're just banking on them not having two creatures they can cast. I feel like we don't have enough to do otherwise, so I think we have to do this. It's risky, but it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. What is this? Red Elemental Blast? No. I like that they cracked first because uh, put it on the bottom of the library. No, you can have a Wooded Foothills. Hopefully, you don't need that. Hopefully, your hand is. Three lands right now, and no creatures. All right, well, we know you have wooded. All right, we're dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so uncomfortable right now. Let's game. <laughs> All right, so... Uh... It's good stuff. Good stuff. I had, uh, we had a good run. Everybody played hard. Remands will come out. We'll bring in these Kami of the False Hope. I'll bring in this one Surgical Extraction because, uh, like you do. Oh, boy. That was a good, uh, we had a good, we had a good run, ladies and gentlemen. We had a good run. My God. My God. I don't know if Living End is great. Like, putting a bunch of Venge Vines in the graveyard might not be great. But we'll keep one in. Yeah, I don't know I don't know why they unbanned Jace. Like, he just totally ran away with that game. I played Jace, and then I died the next turn, and uh, it's probably the most broken card in Modern, I think. I don't understand why it's, why it's legal. I will play first. We'll keep this hand. This is actually pretty good. I'm a, I'm a fan of this hand. Turn one, Ancestral Resonator. Turn two, uh, Tri Builder if we hit another land that we can play. Or we can just Teleria West. And then guarantee a Tri Builder on turn two. I think I like the other way better. And because we have obviously green cards, we're just going to get this guy. All right, let's try not to die immediately. I have no idea why we call him Steve. I mean, I guess that, it, like, I, I understand the S-T-E, but I don't know where Eve is. I don't know where the V-E is coming from. I've never understood it. It is, it has eluded me for as long as I... Well, let's actually... Let's see what happens here. Oh! Hmm. I want both of these. So what we're going to do is put this on top, put this on top, pl 
play you. And next time we can play as foretold. Play Ancestral Visions immediately. Well, no, maybe we wait to play Ancestral Vision. I think we do, because then we have... Um, then we have Temporal Mastery the very next turn. I'd rather not uh, draw that away. I feel like we're in good shape this game because of the Time Warp and the Eternal Witness and the Time Warp again. I guess we're going to 12 here. That's pretty sad. I wonder if we just die next turn. That'd be sad, right? Oh, we can't actually play the As Foretold without the Misty without the Misty Rainforest in play. But I guess that's actually fine. Because I want to draw the Temporal Mastery, so... I mean, worst case scenario, we just have to block, and then we get to play, uh, hopefully we draw land, so we get to play Time Warp, but I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried about it. God, don't have another Bushwhacker, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Oh my god, what is this deck, dude? <laughs> what is even happening? Oh, God. Well, I guess we don't get our thing, but... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We go to 1. We actually can't even crack Misty Rainforest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's unbelievable to me. Oh, Vengewack. Clearly. Let's just put the... Let's just put the... The, the, the two names of two creatures. It's actually Burning Vengewack. It's Burning Vengewack Looting. That's the name of the deck. And I'm playing uh, Misty Elder Warp. These are the names of these decks. I don't like it. Alright, we'll block here. And we'll get one single land from my deck of cards. From my deck of Magic the Gathering cards. <sighs> I don't think we can actually do anything. We actually We're actually dead here unless the top card is... Even if it's Temporal Master, we don't have another land. So, we're basically dead. <laughs> what? That's... Okay, so we knew this was on top. We How many times does this happen, right? When you know there's a card on top, you shuffle your library and the card is still on top. That's weird, dude. I mean, on the bright side, we do get to draw three next turn, but we didn't hit. We don't. Have, we don't land this turn, so we don't actually get to play anything next turn. I mean, like unless we hit land cryptic command. Like it happens constantly. That is not land cryptic command yet. Neither is that. All right. Well, we had a good run. Misty Rainforest ended up killing us because we couldn't actually search. Uh, that is incredibly sad. But, uh, you know, you do you do what you do. Maybe there's a thing on top that we can do. That is a thing, but we don't have a white source. So, uh, there's a lot of irony happening here. We can, use, we can crack Misty to search for... Uh... Boy. Boy. We can't time warp because we only have four lands. Didn't draw a cryptic. We can't commie because we don't have a white source. We could actually even eternal witness to get back flooded strand to get a to get a basic planes. Um but we still die because that still leaves you at zero life. So if there was one counter on this, we could play Kami for free. I don't want either of these. <sighs> oh, magic. Yoakum, you're right, buddy. Here we go. All right. One, one down. One down. <sighs> I 
Okay, to be fair, that match wasn't even close, unfortunately. Yeah, that was sad. Nothing to do there. Um, What could we have done differently? I don't know how this deck fares against against decks like that. Oh, my hair all like I'm irritated with this hair. What's going on right now? I need a haircut. It's way too long. Ranked by Storm, Hangerback Walker, Fling Deck, will top eight SCG Milwaukee. Um God, I hope so. That sounds amazing. Uh yes, I'll play first. I'll keep this hand. Serum Visions and Ancestor Vision, sure. Let's go get a blue. And we have double time warp, double cryptic command, so what what can go wrong? Lucas J. Marsh, thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. More like butt shot. Huh. That's something right there. Would there have been enough time to play as foretold and living in if you didn't play Telaria West as a land? Um. Well, we didn't have a land. Well, I guess we had Misty Rainforest. I think we'd probably be dead because we would have cracked one extra. One extra Misty Rainforest, right? So, like, we would have just been dead. Um, and they didn't, like, they would have had to gotten, all the guy, all their guys had haste, so they would have gotten an attack with, went in with all their creatures before we would have actually got to living end, right? Because otherwise, so no, I don't think so. Oh, really? This is how it's going to be? Oh, they took our serum visions. Oh, that's good. I was, I was so busy chatting with you guys, I didn't even realize they took my, uh, the other card that gives me lands. That's cool. We're having a good time. This is, a uh, the modern format is really, it's really where you want to be. Look at that! Look at that! Two, three. Give me a land. One land, and I won't. I won't say a thing. I won't complain again. I hate you. I hate everything about you, Magic. You're my least favorite game that I've ever played. I would rather be playing checkers right now. <laughs> sure. Oh, good times. Wow. The old triple discard spells. A classic. I mean, eventually we're going to draw three, right? That's not going to do it. All right. There's only 22 lands in the deck as well, which doesn't seem like a lot. I wonder how many lands typical decks like this run. Let's find out. This is amazing. Oh, four discard spells. All right, let's check it out. 23. Well, the, the problem is, like, they're playing 23, but they also have cards like Dictative Crufix and Howling Mind to make sure you hit all your land drops, which might just be really necessary here. I'm going to just... We're going we're to the next game here. This is pretty ridiculous. But also playing four colors. All right, that's a thing, I guess. Um... <sighs> like, this is a situation where I'd probably consider bringing in Ley Lines over, maybe over Living End. Like, I mean, they can't target us. They're probably not going to be targeting us with Liliana, but they can't target us with uh, Thought Seizes or Inquisitions if we bring in Ley Lines, which is pretty decent. 
Um, usually they don't have enough creatures to living death. Like, they'll have, like, maybe a Tarmogoyf or something else. And you'll usually just be bringing back a Tarmogoyf anyway, so... I don't know if that's great. Otherwise, I think this is probably fine. Rand seems fine. I mean, like, it gives us, like, buys us a turn, right? Like, I don't see why Rand would be bad in this matchup. Like, they're playing a mid range deck, so. Like, they're not super grindy. Or uh, super super quick, rather. I don't know if I said grindy there. I'll keep this hand. Uh, you're not trying to living in anything. You're trying to living end as a free... Remo like a free uh, Wrath of God type effect. Yeah, you get back Tribe Elders and you get back Eternal Witnesses. Oh. Just looking at yourself. Okay. Well, you liked it enough to you liked it enough to put that dude into play. Alright. Seventeen. Fifteen. Thirteen. Discard. Well. That's pretty good. So long, Tribe Elder. I hardly knew you. Oh, the Jace. Sure. Deal. All right. Well, let's play a Sakura Tribe Elder. All right, well, next turn we can presumably Cryptic Command if we get a blue. The alternative is getting a green for cards like Eternal Ways, but yeah, I'd rather just Cryptic Command. Uh, do I actually love Gutshot? I don't, I don't like, I don't mind Gutshot. Yeah, we're just cracking this guy now, getting you, uh, playing you. Guess we don't have to play the white here, so we'll just assume, we assume we can cryptic command. How is the deck winning? We attack with creatures like Eternal Witness or Screw Tri Builder, not the best, uh, and tick up Jace until we kill them. Yeah, we'll take five here. That's fine. Traverse the Ulvenwald. You have four card types, huh? Sure. Who saw that coming? I mean, cryptic, cryptic bouncing your Tarmogoyf seems pretty okay. Sure. Counter, return to front... Seems good. Oh, fashionable late to the party, aren't you? We have nothing to do with time warp, which is why I'm reluctant to play it here. And we've also drawn ley lines, so we'll have to hit uh, the hollowed fountain somehow. But if we hit a Jace off the top, or any number of things, I feel like we just have to time warp here. Okay. Sure. So we need to have one Tarmogoyf in hand. That's the only thing I think we know about. Yeah, time warp is less uh, 
is is more underwhelming when you don't have anything to actually uh, take advantage of it with, like a planeswalker or a creature to attack with. There's a lot of tarmogoyfs, both of which kill us. Might be dead here. So we're no definitely noticing um, that is the end. All right. We're noticing that we don't have enough to do in the early game, I think. Let's check out the deck real quick. So the only things we have to do in the early game that actually have any resistance are secure tribalders and remands, um, which I don't think are enough. If you look at the traditional, like, uh, like a blue-white turns list, right? Like this one got seventh at a modern SCG IQ, right? Or I guess f here's a mono blue one that did well in uh, Kyoto. Grand Prix Kyoto. Um, like there's two Jace, or three Jace, two Snapcaster Mages, which are nice. Uh, it has Exhaustion. Exhaustion is definitely a card I think we should be using because it keeps them. It's basically a time warp for three mana instead of five. Um, it also has four Dictate and one Howling Mind. The problem is that we're not, I feel like we're not drawing enough cards to, to keep our engine going, right? So like we can, um, we're able to, we're able to play a time warp, but then we actually, then we run out of steam and then we're just like, okay, go. Because we don't have enough ways to draw more cards. So like, as you can see, like there were, there were definitely times where I had like two or three cards in hand after I time warp and I should be having five or six. And we didn't draw Talaria West or Living End or As Foretold in any of those two games, but uh, they also drew no less than four discard spells. Uh, Exhaustion is definitely better with Giga Drowse, but it's also great on its own because your opponents are going to be playing things naturally, so that's not really a... I don't think they're required to be hand-in-hand. -hand. I like this hand a lot, but I don't like that we don't have a green source. Nonetheless, we still have three lands. I don't think we can hope to get uh, like the perfect six. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, uh, as foretold on eight is uh, free omniscience, so that is a combo. Here comes a core spirit dancer. Yep. All right, let's see how fast we die here. Like, we faced also two very aggressive decks and one very, very... Well, I guess, I think even Death Shadow is pretty aggressive in Modern. So, I do like that we can go... Yep, yeah, that's four damage. That's three damage. And... Six damage. Okay. And... Nine damage. It's more than nine. Okay. That is 11. So I think we're dead again. This is... Can we get... All right. I was really hoping for a living end there. I think we're dead already. Like, this is... Like, this is my... The Modern is a turn three format, and we're playing a turn four deck right now, which is which is really the problem. Um, So I'm going to scoop here, because we're dead on board. That was... <laughs> oh... Awkwardly enough. All right. Kami's definitely coming in. Remand can come out against the Boggles list. That was pretty laughable there. Uh, we'll bring in the one Chalice because it is it is great. Ah. <sighs> Take the search out. Also, I don't know what search for Escanta is doing for us. I think it's actually great uh, in the late game when you can flip it and search for time warps, but that seems real ambitious in modern. So,
Uh, this list came from a, a viewer. It was commissioned to play for Modern Monday, and uh, the green is cool. I like the Eternal Witness Cryptic Command package. Um, I just don't know if we're fast or resilient enough against all these like super hyper aggressive decks in Modern. That's my big issue. I also really like the Living and Dazz Foretold combo, but the problem is like we haven't been able to do it yet. Everyone else is just ripping apart our hand. Ugh, see, like this. Uh, I just don't think 22 lands is enough because this isn't a deck that's like... This is fine, but it's not... Like, this is a terrible card to have in our hand, so we're already kind of on five. So we have to hope that our five-card hand is better than this, and I don't think it's going to be. Eh, we'll keep you. You're a land at the very least. Jason, as foretold, huh? Like, I want both of these. Oh, Couple, 10 years in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. <laughs> What's Modern Monday? Modern Monday is just a column I do, and I put it up on YouTube on, uh, on, mon on Monday. See, this is almost like a point where I like... Um, the problem is you can't do anything with Living End without As Foretold. And I'm wondering if the As Foretold is even necessary, right? Like, we can take... I like the Eternal Witness Cryptic Command package. But... Um, can't keep either of these um well i always record it on sunday and then it goes up on monday so that's i mean on youtube it is it is listed as modern monday whereas like i can call it modern sunday in the twitch chat but i mean eh, we're gonna play this and crack it first See, also the other problem is we have an Eternal Witness, we have a Cryptic Command, and we want mana for uh, for Kami of the False false Hope. So we need um, we need white, blue, 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 green, green. So we can get a Hollowed Found, but then we're not going to have double green for Eternal Witness, which we already have in hand. I think it's still Hollowed Found. We're going to have more... We're, we're, our likelihood of getting a... Uh, a green is higher than our likelihood of getting another white. No. Again, I don't want either of these. Like, Ancestral Vision is just not great here with uh, Flooded Strand. Or with not with Flooded Strand, but like with no way to uh, take advantage of it. I don't know why I said Flooded Strand, because I'm looking at a Flooded Strand. Sure. All right, I'll take one. I like it. They are going easy on me. Look how nice they are. All right, so now we can get a breeding pool. Might just want to get the island, though. Uh, now we're going to play Eternal Witness here, so we have to get breeding pool, actually. And then we're going to keep up Cryptic Command and then multiple time warps. Um, I'm just going to get Black Flood Strand because we don't want to be greedy here. Uh, we only play 22 lands, which I also think is is an issue. I think we can actually take out all of the As Foretold, Living End, um, Ancestral Vision package. I think Ancestral Vision is actually just better as Dictative Crew Fix, but I do like keeping Eternal Witness in the deck. So, Yep, there's a lot of things. Admiral Peary, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. I will block here. 
Or never again. Maybe we just cryptic command, tap your team, bounce eternal witness. I guess we can take eight here and then. <laughs> just get an island. So the funny thing is, like, we can't actually bounce Eternal Witness here because if they have a Path Exile, they can path this in response and it would counter the tap ability because it would it would no longer have any legal targets. So, worth keeping in mind. I think we just tap draw. Cartouche. Cartouche. Well, I'm not going to counter that. It's a lot of things, man. I am uh, not thrilled with the number of cards. Like, we're just at a point where, like, we have to take all the turns right now. Uh, tap all creatures and draw a card. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was a good draw. Brian, happy Easter, buddy. Oh, I see. You're going to be all sneaky about it. I'll play another guy. And the problem is, like, we don't have a... If you don't have As Foretold on turn three, you just don't have a turn to play it afterwards. I think we just actually crack this and just time warp here. I mean, if we can hit living end, I, I, I'd like to hit a living end. One, two, three, one, two, three. If we can hit one more land, we can ask foretold and cryptic command in the same turn, which is kind of where you want to be. I think we can actually pass, tap down their team again. And then we have two draws to time warp. So I think now that they know what we're doing, uh, they're probably more inclined to block with a Glade Cover Scout. Uh, tap all dudes, draw a card. One, two, three, four. Let's see what happens. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit a land here, it'd be great, because then we can play a Tri Builder and Time Warp. Interesting. Do we care about that? I don't think so. Oh, we have As Foretold, so we do, I guess. Now we have two As Foretolds. See, now the problem is we have Time Warp, but we only have Time Warp. So if we don't hit a land... Uh, we didn't bounce Eternal Witness with, with Cryptic because we actually don't have enough mana to recast. So, but maybe? The problem is we're trying to hit a land. We're trying to desperately hit a land to uh, to both Time Warp and... Or we, like, we, like, we have to hit Temporal Master Mana. Like, if we bounce this guy to hand, then we just have Eternal Witness in hand. I guess then we get a land though, right? But then we get a land and then we don't have Cryptic. So we just have Eternal Witness in play with four extra lands and then we're dead to this board. Like we have to keep the train rolling and unfortunately without hitting our seventh land, we don't really have a way to do it yet. Like if we can just draw a living end here, we're in great shape, I think. That might be our death. I'm pretty sure we're dead here. When we're at three life, getting rid of this guy doesn't do anything when they have an 8-6. Like, it just doesn't do anything. Like, we have to, like, if, if we can get rid of one of their guys, we have to get rid of all their guys. 
Like, they have four cards in hand. No, we have to draw specific pieces in order to survive this game. And we have not. One, two, three, four. So, like, right now, we could play Jace and play Tribelder if we, if we bounce this guy, right? But we still have to deal with this, so we block this guy, which means we're taking two. Uh, so we're automatically at one, and if they have any enchantment to put on one of these guys, we're dead. If they have any trample to give this guy, we're dead. So, like, there's... It just doesn't do... Plus, we'd have... We'd be one card less, so we wouldn't even have Jace. We'd just have As Foretold. So it doesn't... It just doesn't, like... We do have to hit... We, we can hit something here. Like, we're not dead. But I don't think we're in great shape either. <sighs> yep, that's the end, unfortunately. I wish we had a way to draw a card next turn. Then we can just draw a Temporal Mastery and uh, put it on top, but... Yeah, we just need to hit uh, one living end. There's only there's only there's only two living end in the deck is the problem. So man, there's just nothing. We're not gonna play full edge strand. We're not gonna play. Ugh. The only thing we can do is play Sakura Tri Builder here, and that just gets us killed. So, if this was Kami, we also had Kami. Kami was also an out. We could have played Kami of the False Hope, and uh, survived there. So we had actually like five, five cards, and yep, two cards, two cards too deep. We have not won a game yet, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna make some tweaks if this if this league is super quick I'm gonna make some tweaks and we'll play like uh, just some two-man queues to see how we can do in those with the tweaks because uh, this is the these games have gone pretty quick and I want to make sure we can get some feedback that works because I can't imagine that taking turns is a cool enough deck that I can't imagine it's not just good enough with eternal witness in it as well but to be fair the the white might be a little greedy um See, let me get a hand like this. We're like, well, this is all the colors we need, but we just don't have a lot of action. So we can just keep it, and we'll just try to hit the action with Serum Visions. Unless they uh, turn one Inquisition us, turn two Thought Seize us, and then we're left with nothing. Well, that's not happening, I guess. Never fails, guys. Never fails. We always play Lantern at least once. Um, I'll keep both of these. Living end, huh? That's interesting. Uh, the reason you don't play drop white and play fog is because you can't fog... Uh, you can't recur fogs with living end. Whereas you can keep chaining living ends with eternal witness. And then you can keep fogging forever. So if we just land a Jace, we just win, right? Like, they can't really deal with that. They're just gonna, I think they're going to have to shuffle right now because of their fear of Jace, but we already have one, so it's like, eh, that's cool. Mm. Spore Frog, is that the same? Is that a functional reprint of... Well, mostly because that's not legal in Modern, that's why. <laughs> so, that's the reason. All right, so what do they draw? Bridge? Bridge and Stirrings. Why would you ever play Lantern or Friendly Cues? I, I, I agree with this every time. We play it like three times a queue at least, so. Sure. I'm having a good time. Said no one against Lantern ever. This is interesting that they'll just keep Jace. I guess because they can just get Pithing Needle and shut down Jace. And then we just have no... Uh... Ancient Stirring is gone. Mox also gone. 
Shores. And Shredder on top, sure. Don't care about Teleria West, really. I mean, we get like Ancestral Vision, but I mean, it's not great. Hank Lagore doesn't have the same ring, does it? No. No. Um, we don't have any white cards in the main deck, right? Just a sideboard. So I think we're fine just getting another breeding pool. You gonna let me draw this? Oh, no. Heavens, no. Free me. Boom, boom, boom. Why would I implement win? Oh, I guess if they want to win, but that's over. Yeah, um, I I, I think we're like 70% against Lantern. Um, so I don't really, I don't really think winning is really the, uh, what do you call it? The most effective strategy of Lantern. Let's see him get that pithing needle. Witchbane orb. Sure. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, let's just draw our cryptic command. How about that? I mean, they're not going to let us do that, but sure. Be another cryptic command. Oh, remand is good. Remand will do. Um, So we can actually just shuffle two of these stupid cards away. Stupid lands. One, two... So they have Bridge on top. And we know Witchbane Orb and Dark Slick Shore is in their hand. I don't know if we know the, the last card. Well, of course, the yeah, the uh, there's nothing wrong with playing a deck unless you're talking specifically about winning. Um, the intent is to compete on the terms you wish to compete, sure, but like you can also have a certain level of fun in those events, right? Like, it's it's not... Uh, we're not robots, right? So, like, if you're playing a deck and I'm playing a deck, like, you're more than welcome to have your... You, you're, you're more than welcome to have, you know, whatever level of fun you deem accurate for the, the experience that we're having. So, you know, it's not like... Oh, you're playing a deck and I'm playing a deck, so I automatically have to respect and appreciate the deck you're playing. You know, I could just not have fun, and I'm I'm more than willing to express. I'm more than able to express that. I do like an as foretold. Oh, letting me draw as foretold was gas. Oh, wow. This is great. Hold on. We can, as foretold, play Living End, get back. So, Glimmer. What's my favorite deck in Modern right now? I have no idea. I don't play enough Modern regularly anymore to really uh, to really say, to be quite honest. Um, what happens? We get Double Eternal Witness and a Secure Tribalder back? Sure. 
Uh, let's get cryptic command. Let's get other cryptic command. Yep, that seems good. So I'm pretty sure your hand, oh, needle, ooh, needle, uh, glimmer void's gone. I don't know if they even have shredder in hand anymore. They might've, we might've gotten rid of that. I don't know. Uh, I have not tried much popper. I just like playing regular magic that has real cards in it. Should we cryptic command here? That is the question. Oh, we can just put the uh, the pinning needle somewhere else, which is totally fine. Hmm, that's pretty good. So let's just win with Jace. Can we do that? Uh, yeah, put that on the bottom of your library. Don't care about your Pixis. I also don't even want to draw. It's extra less, right? That's pretty good. Um, I guess we can just draw. We're not doing anything else. <laughs> we could also sneak to just make them draw three to uh, attack with our guys. Oh, we can also just time warp here and probably just win the game. I think we have one more breeding pool. I might just have three. All right. I think we're winning this game. Okay. This is what happens. You just win against Lantern. Sure enough, let's look at the top card of your Librario. Uh, yeah, I'll put you on the bottom. Sure. You can have a Spire of Industry, my friend. I cast this with As Foretold. Oh, look, another time warp. I'll target myself with that. Play a land. So we get to... Oh, we just win the game. Sweet, sweet lantern deck. <laughs> All right, cool. So Stony Silence can come in. Again, this is, this is a card that you want against lantern. I feel like Leyline's good here, right? They can't target you with Codex Shredder. Or, no, Pixis is both players. So they can't target you with Codex Shredder or with the other win condition. What's their other win condition? These stupid, uh, what do you call it? Pyrite Spell Bomb? Or Jace? I don't know. Like, it, it, it's, it protects you from all their win conditions. Chalice on one, also pretty good. Um... I don't think Remand is actually great. So I'm gonna bring in these and I'm gonna bring in this one chalice. I wanna take out the living ends, but being able to get back double eternal witness was great that game. I don't know if it's gonna be great every game though. So we'll just take those out. Keeps, snap keeps, snapes, snaperino. Keep. And they went to six. Are we just gonna win this last game? This last this last match against Lantern because we always do. Someone's like, it's just a good deck that wins. It's it, it, I have a pretty pretty positive record against Lantern, so and apparently that's just gonna continue here. All right, can't target us with that. That's pretty good. Or that. All right, cool. Seems good. And we don't really care about... Tano, seven years in a row. Thank you, buddy. You are awesome. And we don't really care about your... Uh... Pfft, nice. 
Well, that's not, actually not nice. I thought it didn't go from your hand. It went from the top of your library, which is just unfortunate. Just unfortunate. And we don't care about your ensnaring bridge. That's what we we're going to say. So if you have ensnaring bridge, it's not really. Target player shuffles his or her library. All right. So uh, not going to be doing that anytime soon. Dingus Egg. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. You'll always be the Dingus Egg of my heart. Um, oh. I like this. Temporal Mastery, right on the top. They have one card in hand? Sure. Pithing Needle, you got it. So, Needle Shores. They named Jace. I don't know if we have an answer to that, which is really awkward, actually. I guess we Cryptic Commander, right? Yeah, we got it. We got ways to deal with that. We can also just attack you with Eternal Witnesses. Oh, what up, Raid Train? Total toot toots. Toot toots for days. <laughs> I will reveal this. Yeah, let's do that. Boop, boop. And we're going to have to pass. We don't have a land, but we'll get a land next turn. So it's almost the same as just drawing the land, right? Maybe worse. I don't know. But we do get... Actually, this, this goes off next turn, which is pretty sweet. So now we can just play as foretold. And so Shores is gone. Neil's gone. Bridge on top. And you have one card in hand? Sure, Witch Bane Orb. You got it. Target myself. Cast it. Choose a player. I'm the only legal choice, Wizards of the Coast. Gunners, thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, I don't want the second ley line, awkwardly enough. We can't Jace. We'd have to get a green. I guess we just get a green keep up cryptic command. I don't think I don't think we want the Sakura Tri Builder. But we're just gonna pass here. We can't there's nothing we really want to do here. We can cast Jason just not activate. That doesn't sound good. When we have double cryptic command in hand. Inquisition. I okay. No, not gonna let you have that. Counter a spell, draw a card. That's what we want. Nope, that's not gonna do it. You one, two, three. Counter a spell, drawing a card. Sunny Silence seems okay. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Oh god. Never feels better than when you beat than when you beat Lantern. Like, just get out of here with that. Alright. We're doing alright. Good times, good times. Skyward Fire Games, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. All right, let's see if we can 2-3 this bad boy. I will play first. No lands. I will not keep a no-lander. I will keep this hand, though. And hope we don't die by turn three. We're both 1-3. So we're in the same we're in the same old 1-3 bracket, if you if you know what I mean. You should, because that wasn't a really complex 
sentence or, you know, concept. I will keep. I will also keep you. Um, actually, we just hold this, right? Turn two, turn three. Yeah, we're just going to hold this. Unless they get rid of our as foretold, but... Well, let's see. No, nothing yet. Uh, I switched the decklist button with a Twitch button. Yeah, there's a Twitch button now. Brandon, Battle of Wits, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, interesting. I like this. Let's get a breeding pool. Not going to pay. And then we'll play as foretold and ancestral visions. And I guess I just hope we're not dead, right? Oh! This is where they get the uh, the green mana to abrupt decay this bad boy. I'm waiting. Make it happen. Oh, I'm gonna scratch my eye, and then we're gonna cast this. Uh, my thoughts on the new format brawl. I actually haven't given it a lot of. Th <laughs> wow. <sighs> All right, that's super weird, but I guess that's a thing. That was a very, very weird, very weird ancestral vision. Is there like a, is this like a tavern brawl where you're like, hey, whenever you cast the card that lets you draw more than one, all of those cards will be the same. All right, so they are playing green. What's happening right now? Oh, we get to free serum visions now, which is great because it lets us keep up cryptic commando. This is actually pretty nice. Yo, I heard you like Serum Visions, so I put your Serum Visions with your Serum Visions, and then I gave you one one more Serum Visions as well, so you have a lot of Serum Visions coming up, buddy. I'm just going to put both these on top, and then we're going to pass, and we're going to keep up Cryptic Command. Next turn, we can play as for, uh, Search Off as Foretold. Save it for later. Nothing? Nothing at all, huh? Well, all right. Well, then. Oh, actually, let's cast Search for free. That seems good, right? And maybe we time warp ourselves here? I mean, that seems cool. I don't know. I don't know. Time or my face. I think one of the goals is to get, uh, as foretold, to have as many counters as we can get. This might be why they're one three. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to judge my opponent because we are also one three. So, uh, yeah, I'll put a breeding pool in the graveyard. Another as foretold. So I guess we serum visions for free. Oh, we can actually else as foretold for free. And then we can give up both serum visions and cryptic command. We can also tell your west and just hit a uh, an ancestral vision, but we don't get to keep a land if we do that. Or we don't get to uh, keep up cryptic command if we do that, so. We could also just draw one naturally right now. You ready for that? No? Okay. Well, that's fine. Wow, all four serum visions. I think we just keep both of these. These are fine. 
Eh, we don't care about secure tribal there, actually. We'll just keep the serum visions because it's just better than not keeping a serum visions, and then we'll just we'll just serum visions again. Draw a random card. Actually, we draw serum visions, right? And then we'll uh, see what we can scry. We're doing a lot of things. I uh, still don't want either of you. Okay. Pass. If their deck is 60 lands, I'm wondering how they won a match, but they might have just had creature lands, so. Uh, the visions are free to cast. Not the serum visions aren't. We only got to cast one of them. You only get to cast one spell a turn with it, as foretold. It's not cast every card in your hand that costs three or less. That would be ridiculous. I'm waiting for him to play something really aggressive here, and I don't know what it is. Like some big uncounterable creature. With haste. I don't know what it could be, but... I'm sure it'll give us a fit when, it, when we see it, I guess. I don't know. I've never encountered the Jun deck that has seven cards in hand. And has not Inquisition Dust, Thoughtseize Dust, Tarmogoyf Dust... Maelstrom pulsed one of our, our cards. Uh, they just haven't done anything, which is really weird to me. We also get to flip this next turn, which is kind of nice. Being able to... Uh, start getting time warps or cryptic commands or whatever is pretty nice. It also lets us put eternal... They don't go to graveyard, right? Uh, no, just bottom library. Okay. Because that'd be sweet if we can just put, start putting eternal witnesses in the graveyard and then we can living end and living take take advantage of it. What's I don't know what's going on right now. They are like uh, seriously deliberating on some things. Mm, okay. It's all very interesting. The most patient Jun player. I can wait this out. I got time. What is happening right now? No, it's definitely not us. <laughs> we have four more minutes on the clock. We uh, are playing things they are not. I mean, they could be it could be crashing out for them, but that doesn't make sense why they're playing lands and not playing any spells, so. I mean, laggy or not, like, they're still not playing things, so. Yep. And now we get free cryptic commands, which is fantastic. Just fantastic. I hope there's a clear way to distinguish which one you're using because I really don't want to use like uh, this for... I guess it doesn't matter because we're going to only be using one on each turn, right? Alright, what do we get to 
keep or keep or pitch. No, that doesn't sound good. Keep or oh, we just win. The old I'll concede on your upkeep. Oh, we would have kept that for sure. Free Jace on our turn. Oh, we just win the entire thing. Okay, well that was a good. We had a good. We had a good match. I had a fun time. Everybody, everybody wins. All right, so we're actually gonna take a look at this list and let's get rid of ancestral. Let's get rid of remand. The one search it seems a little strange. Um, let's get rid of ancestral and let me end. This gives us a lot of room to play with. So I would say. I think Dictate is great in this deck, obviously. We'll, we'll use these foil, these, these promo Dictates. Why I have 10 Dictates, I don't know. That's, uh, that's for... I like Exhaustion. I think Exhaustion is a great... We'll do three Exhaustions. And we still get to keep the Eternal Witness Cryptic Command package. I think that's the important part. And we also get to keep in... Uh, we, won't, we won't be messing with the sideboard too much. Let's change so we can get that extra like there's an extra surgical extraction just hanging around in the sideboard that's been switched out but it doesn't leave until you actually change the uh... okay um Giga Drowse could be good the problem with Giga Drowse is that we don't have as many we still have we have I guess we only have two cards that aren't producing blue right forest and plains everything else produces blue snapcaster is very good because it lets us cryptic command just as much as eternal witness does i think two is fine um i would also say two gigas and we still get three extra cards which is actually a lot maybe three remands is good why green because eternal witness and sakura tri builder are cool cards uh we don't really have to, i don't feel like we have to cut i think kami is probably bad because we don't um, we're not playing the the living end thing anymore, but um, what's Steward of Elements? I don't even know what that is. Is that the Nissa? Okay, that was probably not. Steward is probably the word you want to go with. <laughs> yeah. Um, look at the top card. Actually, it seems pretty good. That actually seems great. I'll put two Nissas in here. And we probably want more, one more Time Warp effect, probably. I would probably say... Splash Red for Escape Shift wins? What? We don't even play, like, it doesn't make any sense. We're not playing Valakuts, though. Like, I don't understand. Wow. Tanos. <laughs> dude. Oh my god. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it, dude. That is insane. Thank you so much, man. Happy April Fools? I guess. Yeah, you're really bad at it. But also really good at it, I think. Uh, I will take this part of the Water Veil. I think as a one of is totally fine. Um, and this looks cooler to me. Tanos, thank you so much, dude. That is amazing. You are incredible. Uh, as usual. As you know. And, uh... I, oh, I kind of like Thing in the Ice because of the Eternal Witnesses. So then you can, like, bounce your own Eternal Witnesses. Um, I don't think we need to change the lands, though, because we actually didn't have... Like, the lands we took... Like, the cards we took out weren't green. So... Like, the the mana base should still be fine. We still have an inadequate number of green and blue mana. Um, what's the three mana time work? The, the, the Kef, Kef, Kefnet? Kefnets... Nope, that's not it. What's the... Is there a three-minute time war? What is it? Saver? Is it Saver the moment? I don't think that card's very good. Eh. That card drives me insane. I think that's only good if you have, like, multiple Planeswalkers. Why well, I play Noble Hierarch? Um, well, originally it was because... We were trying to uh, living end, and uh, we would get back eternal witnesses and secure tri builders if we did that. Uh, it could be a consideration now. It might just be better than secure tri builder. I'm not sure. 
going into turn two dictate does seem pretty good. Um, I can actually see putting Noble Hierarchs in here instead. The problem is if they kill your Noble Hierarch, um, because they, they don't have any other many targets for Noble Hierarch, that, uh, you know, a lot of the removal is, is if they're trying to kill, if you have creatures like Sakura Tri-Builder, you can always get the land. If you have creatures like Noble Hierarch, they're just going to kill it because they don't have any other targets for it. And I have a 7-6 that can attack. Yeah, I, I like Thing in the Ice. I just don't know what to cut for. Probably one exhaustion for a Thing. The problem is, like, I don't want to put too many Things in the Ice because we don't actually have that many. We're not playing, like, a version with, uh... Yeah, maybe we are. I don't know. Maybe cut one Nissa. Yeah, I think this is... I think we can try it like this. Yeah, three mana time mark, probably exhaustion, right? I mean, it's just really good. What is Emrakul doing? What are you guys... What is Emrakul doing? It might actually... It might actually take one Eternal Witness out, actually. Because we don't have the Living End combo, so it's just like... It might just be better to have the extra Eternal Witness here, and maybe Thing in the Ice, or maybe uh, Nissa's better. I don't know. I, I think it's... The, I think the hardest question here is Sakura Tri Builder versus Noble Hierarch. And I think one of the, one of the big issues is having green mana on turn one. Which I don't think is going to be super easy. I'll add one more thing in the ice. Maybe. I like one exhaustion better. Alright, let's do that. I'll add another thing in the ice to the sideboard. I'll add the other two thing in the ices to the sideboard. Yeah, my problem is that the, the, um, the Hierarchs are going to die. Um... Thomas, let me get back to you about tonight. I will I will definitely respond to you tonight. Um, you have been more than patient, and it is my fault. Um, let me get back to you, and I will uh, I'll let you know for sure one way or another. Thank you for thank you for uh, for 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 not hating me and for being more reasonable than I have been. So I appreciate that. Um, this actually looks pretty sweet. I kind of like the way this looks right now. I almost like dismiss over spell pierce, but I also just like dismiss in general. I can also see running other stony silence. I think I think other stony silence is just fine. We can take out the search. I'm not a big search for not dismiss dispel rather. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not a big search for for us contafon unless you're like maybe it's good. I don't know. This is confusing. There's a lot of stuff in this deck that you're trying to do. Why, why do we think Farseek would be better than Tri Builder? Just because it can get Breeding Pool and Hollowed Fountain? Maybe that's true. We can also get a good block off of off of Tri Builder. Is there any other interactions? Also, Farseek does trigger thing in the ice. We're gonna Farseek. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, I, I like that a lot actually. All right, let's try this. I think this uh, I think this looks pretty sweet. So we'll just hit up a league, or not a league, but uh, just we'll do a queue for now. And we'll just try to tweak this a little bit to see how we can. Uh, Dang it. Just missed it. Hmm. Oh, useless to play green. Well, I might as well not do it then. That's too bad. I thought I was having fun. Turns out I'm not. All right. Can we send in Bruce Street to play? I don't feel like Tether Desk you should try. Um, maybe? Also, Thomas, I still owe you a stipulation as well. Just real quick. You're <laughs> I will keep this. All right, sweet. I like Serum Visions into Farseek. That's pretty cool. Into Dictate. Oh, let's do that. Toby, PM Thanos the Brew.
Do do do. Our opponent went to five. Oh no, we basically just win. If it's janky enough, I'll turn it into a stipulation. Nice. Wow. After modern, are you going to play anything else or stream later? Maybe, but I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Oh, an Ink Moth Nexus. More like Stink Moth, am I right? I'm right. Look, we can take as much damage as we want once they drop the Ink Moth. You're like, oh, I see what you're doing here. What? Bottom, bottom. We only get to draw one of these. Uh, I don't care if it's Cryptic's a little late for us. So I think we just want to hit like lands and things. What up, Clambert? Oh, Zaxor, yeah, let's do your let's do your step next week when the modern uh, when the modern cube pops up. Good idea. Good call. So we uh so, oh oh I see. Oh you're getting a little getting a little aggressive here. Are you gonna kill me? Oh god, we're dead, aren't we? Just three? Okay. Alright. I'm on to you. Are we dead? How do we survive this? I guess we just go uh, far-seeking breeding pool. Mm, no, nah, I'm good. And then next turn we can play Cryptic Command, tap down their their dudes. Hope you like Brown Town. I don't. I really don't. All right, let's see if we're dead here. You know, I'm you know I'm making stiff based on my chosen alias. Come down. Oh, that's actually interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's honest. You get much more relevant in, in another month or so. Oh, too bad they didn't activate the other one. Is this where they go? Oh, oh, just one. Oh, I'm feeling good. Okay, I'm feeling less good after that, but. I think we just have to pass here. If they don't, if they try to do a thing, we can try. Oh, God. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> All right, we, we, we survived. A Wink Moth Nexus. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good one. That sounds like a... That could be an uncard. Alright, deal. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure we're okay here. We can let this guy come through. Because they'd have to have double... I think we just... Oh, we just survive. Ooh, I like Dictate here. You got it. Uh, I don't think we have any white sources in the main deck still, so we're just going to keep getting breeding pools. New. No. All right, here we go. Oh, the old thing in the ice. Always yield to that. I don't have to. I don't, ain't got, anybody got time for that. All right, so now we can time warp. Next turn, we can thing in the ice and keep up cryptic command. Choose target player, myself. I mean, that is if we hit a land here. So this is why dictate does work in this deck, and I think it's I think it's vital. And then when we're on eight, we can just eternal witness time warp. If we're on seven, we can eternal witness time, or we can snapcaster time warp. One land, just one land. No lands. Okay, I see how you're gonna be. I guess we could time warp again. We could try to ste stream, st steam, steerum, steerum, serum visions. What's he saying? I don't know. I think he's drunk. And then still keep up cryptic, which is probably safe. The problem is once we tap all their guys, they could let it resolve for spawn by activating Ink Moth Nexus, which is a little scary. So I don't know if we want to do that. If, if there's a land on top, we're okay. They also get to draw an extra card because of the dictate. Brutal. Brutal. One time. Oh, we did it, boys. God, we're so good at this game. This is not going to matter because we're going to crack the fetch. Oh, my God. We're so good. Uh, 
Time McWarpums. Ooh! Ooh! Getting spicy! All right. So many, so many things and so many ices. Are you ready for the magic? It's happening. Oh boy, that's a good one too. How many turns can this guy take? All of them. Um, we can also dick. What do you got? Five, six, seven, eight. So we can also dictate here. Uh, right. It's at the beginning of each player's draw step. Okay. So we just go bloop, hit those extra lands. Um, we can just exhaustion here, or we can part the water veil. I think we just part the water veil, right? It does get exiled though, right? Maybe we. Ex mm, yeah, we're just gonna part. I don't care if it gets exiled. We're not going to attack because all this stuff's going to go away anyway once we get our once we get this turn. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh. Everything's happening, boys. Oh my goodness god. I'm just gonna put this back and this back at this point. <laughs> but -da 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 -da. oh, I forgot we had another turn. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Oh, that's awkward. I thought we were. I thought we were done. And this is how you do that. All right, that was pretty good. I'm uh, we had a good time there. Our opponent did not, but we did. Boy, that Eternal Witness was a great. I am a big fan of Eternal Witness and Farseek in this list right now. And Thing in the Ice was great too. Everything was great. Thing in the Ice bouncing Eternal Witnesses. Whew, that's where I want to be. All right. Oh, we didn't actually sideboard anything. What are we dumb? That was terrible. I just got so excited. I thought we won the match. Or the Yeah, the whole thing. I thought we were done. I don't know how much we actually want to bring in, though. Oh, obviously Chalice. And probably Dispel. We'll submit like that, just to make sure we, we hit. Um... Yeah, it's fine. Hmm. Double thing in the ice. How reasonable is that? I don't know. It doesn't seem reasonable. Unless they have ground guys. But if they have unblockable guys... I'm going to mulligan this hand. This hand's much better. Chalice on t on one is pretty busted. <laughs> Getting all this F6 value. Oh, that's it's why I play. I just want that F6 value. Yeah, Thing in the Ice is sweet with Snapcaster and Eternal Witness. That is uh, That is the truth right there. I'm liking everything that's happening right now. Don't spell pierce me, bro. 
Are you going to do it? Don't say you're not going to do it. Wow. You think you know a guy, and then he spell pierces your serum missions. Super rude. Thing in the ice also bounces all their creatures, which is disgusting against their creatures. I agree with you. That is a combo. Thing in the ice and your opponent's creatures is a combo for you. If they don't play... Don't play a Blighted Agent. They're going to play a Blighted Agent. That's fine. We can shut down a lot of their... A lot of their dudes. A lot of their thingums. McMingums. I... Yes. One, two... Chalissimo. Done. Absurdly rude. <laughs> oh, good times. I'll take one damage from your Blighted Agent, good sir. What up, Amped? What if you add one Oracle of Moldiah or Rites of Flourishing for more jank? I don't like one Oracle just because... Dang, that's so sad. Whatever, we'll just play this. Oh, we can actually take out the Teleria Wests. They're just bad. They're just bad islands. That's a good... Yeah, see, that's something we didn't even notice until we, uh, until we played that because we just overlooked the lands. Yeah, it's like a Tron player calling someone else rude. It's just not true. It's it's a very pot calling the kettle black situation there. I will take one whole damage. Oh, it's Larry West does get chalice. Touche. Uh, I think we can pretend that's not a huge deal. Alright, so we're going to try to dictate, and then we're going to try to win the game. Dictate and win the game. Oof. What's happening right now? Are they just, are they just trolling? To show that they have all these things? <laughs> Oh, they're just becoming immense. I understand. I see. They're going to kill us with become immense. Well, that's only seven, so we go to one here. I will not block. I thought they were being cute, but it turns out they're just they're still they're still trying to kill us here. Like the monster they are. Land one land. Oh, we did it. We hit a land. We hit two lands. Two lands is where you want to be in Magic the Gathering. I will crack this and get... I guess Breeding Pool. Doesn't really matter. And we have to do this. Two, three, four, five. Let's draw two more cards. Cryptic command would have been good here. For now, we can far seek. I guess we have to hope they just don't kill us, but they probably will kill us, right? Cryptic command would have been great. One, two, three, far seek. What should you eat for dinner? Um, it's hard to say, my friend. Dinners are a strange thing. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? What a weirdo. I think we're dead. Alright. We did. Game three. I guess we can sideboard a little more effectively. I don't know. Uh, Solemnity for humans? You mean due to the uh, the combo? 
They might actually not have become immense in hand. They probably have become immense in hand. Well, no blocks because... Oh, we just survived. They don't have it in hand. This is great news. Now we get to draw like 17 cards. Two cards, two cards, two cards for this turn. Two more cards. Deal. I'll just auto yield this. I think we just won. I think we just won the game. Unless they have counter spells. In which case, boy, that's bad. One, two, three, four. Unless they have counter spells that cost more than one, which is seems unlikely. We'd have to find uh, ways to win, though. Ways to actually kill them. But we have... Oh, that's a... Is that a way to kill them? It gets Chalice? No. Not really. I guess we could attack them for eight turns, but this one spell skite is really... Uh, doing us a... Doing us a trouble here. So we get four more cards, and we hope that that's good enough. Is there anything Teleros can actually hit right now? I don't think so. Maybe they don't block, though. Oh, what if they just don't block? Bam! One, two, three, four, five. So if we draw a Cryptic Command, we can actually go Time Warp and bounce this guy. Chalice on seven. Um. Yeah, that's an option. We only have one Chalice, though, so... Oh, that was a good draw. All right, we figured it out. Wow, the chaining potential of Eternal Witnesses and uh, Time Warps is pretty insane. Especially with Thing in the Ice. Oh, this deck is great. I'm having a good time right now. Oh, why not Oracle? Oracle is because we don't have a way to search for it, so just having like a one of Oracle seems kind of weird. Um, because it's not a win condition the same way like Nissa is. Like Nissa steward of of elements is a win condition. Um so it's kinda it's it's harder to justify. But I do kind of like rights of flourishing, but I also think just the blue options are better, like howling mine or dictate. Alright, we're gonna do it. Time warp stack, right? I don't want to sound stupid, but they 100% do, right? Do we play land? Or just want to play area west, right? Yeah. Alright, so we have one, two, two turns. I think we did it. Now we have one turn in the queue. So we can actually far seek here. Flip all the things. Seems real good. And we still have one turn in the queue. Thing doesn't bounce spell sky because it's a horror. <laughs> That's actually a funny caveat. Good to keep in mind. They could have also been redirecting our time warps to their spell skite. That's what the that's what the pros do. Oh, we got him. All right, sweet. I think this is uh I think this version is pretty sweet. All right, usually I would go to the to the end step and we could talk about it there, but I'm just going to leave it right here because I uh, think this is probably a better way to showcase the uh, the changes that we've made. Uh, I think we had one more breeding pool and just one more island here, and we can take out the t two Teleri Wests because we don't, they don't do anything. They do search for Chalice, and I think we can actually add another Chalice here and take out... I don't know if we need Tireless Tracker. I think it's just a little too mana intensive. Um, I would add more Silver Bullets, like Leyline, Stony Silence, or Chalice, and I think it could just be Chalice, which is totally fine. I would also add another Dispel over a Spell Pierce, but that's just me. Um, so this would be my configuration. Um, I think this deck looks super sweet. Uh, I know it's not the original as foretold list, but I think that list might be a little too slow. And you're trying to fight on a little too many, a, a few too many axes, um, which is interesting. Um, I do like Nissa. I would love to try Nissa. I think Part the Water Veil is a great way to finish the game as well because it gives you a 6 6 and an extra turn. Um, Dictate seems 
extremely relevant in these lists. You want a way to keep drawing cards. Like you just don't. I don't think you're able to win if you ever if you go time warp, untap, draw one card, go. It just it it just doesn't happen. So I think you need dictate in these lists. Um, I also did like the far seek, especially as a way to trigger thing in the ice. Um, and being able to flip thing in the ice to get eternal witnesses and snapcasters back is pretty awesome. Um, so hopefully these, uh, this is some good feedback. Hopefully Nathan takes it to heart and, uh, hopefully, I mean, I, I know the deck changed, but, uh, hopefully it didn't change too much and the additions are appreciated, but, um, you know, I do like the way it looks right now. I also think Chalice was great in the matches we had it. Uh, Stony Silence is great in the matches we had it and Leyline is great in the matches you have it. So, um, flashing in dictate before the draw step is also awesome. Um, so being able to go upkeep, dictate, and then draw an extra card or an extra two cards or however many however many dictates you're flashing in is also great. Cryptic Command being able to tap down their guys. Exhaustion working as more time warps. Also pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, Nathan, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to uh, play the deck. Hopefully you appreciate the feedback. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons.